Welcome to getting started with InstaSpin FOC. We recommend that you get started using one of the TI motor control kits. There's three of them covering low voltage, low current, low voltage, medium, high current, and our high voltage motor. These motor control kits have previously been sold with other Piccolo cards. So if you already own one of these kits and are on the latest revision, all you need to do is purchase the new InstaSpin FOC enabled control card and download the software from the URL below. The software that we're going to discuss today is the GUI Composer based graphical user interface and motorware. Let's get started. From the URL below or included on the USB stick in each one of the kits, you'll find a folder called Motor Kits Control Card 69 MISO underscore version 101. Every time that we update the contents for these kits, including the GUI or the documentation, we'll be sure to update this directly. So the thing you want to do first is always check that you're using the latest version of the GUI or the documentation. Let's start with the README first. The README first includes which inverters and which control card are supported by this package. As mentioned, the DRV8312 and 8301 kits have been on the, the market for at least a year. If you're going to be reusing one of these kits, make sure that you have the latest revision, RevD. The previous revisions are not supported with the software. The high voltage motor control kit has also been on the market for a number of years, but we recently moved to a new revision called 1.1. In this revision, we changed the PCB color to yellow to make sure that you're using the right one. So for InstaSpin FOC, only use the yellow PCB. And for this 28069 control card, only use this yellow PCB with the black enclosure. We did recently start shipping a new high voltage motor control kit for our 5X series of Piccolo. It also uses the yellow PCB, but to avoid confusion, we put it in a light gray enclosure. Do not use the 28069 control card with this light gray enclosure. Let's look at the path to success. As mentioned, always make sure you're using the latest contents for this kit. You can find this at the URL. Next, we recommend you evaluate with the GUI. In this video, we're not going to go through the GUI itself. There's a separate video that shows you some of the use cases of the graphical user interface. When you're done evaluating with the GUI and you're convinced that you should start your own development, the first place you're wanna, gonna wanna go to is Motorware. And we will look at Motorware here in just a few minutes. Once you're done with Motorware, you're gonna want to make sure that you review the technical documentation, specifically the reference manual and the user's guide, if you haven't already done so. And to get started with your own software project, you can install CCS version 5.3, which is included in the kits, or you can download the latest at this link. You're then gonna to wanna to follow the Motorware user's guide. You are then going to want to follow the user's guide and the project lab examples inside of Motorware. You can first do this on the TI motor kits so that you can learn the solution and show that it works correctly. And then you're gonna to wanna to move to your own hardware where you adapt, modify, improve, and add on the software to make it your own product. Following the instructions from the README first file, you next want to get started by installing GUI Composer. If you have a previous GUI Composer installation, all you need to do is copy the latest InstaSpin FOC F2806XM folder into the GUI Composer web apps directory. This is the first time to install a GUI Composer. Please run the installer and follow all the steps until it is completed. Let's now look at the quick start guide for the GUI. The quick start guide once again reminds you of the hardware that is supported, including the 28069 InstaSpin FOC enabled control card and the RevD versions of the DRV8312 and 8301 kit and the Rev 1.1 version of the high voltage kit. This quick start guide is going to tell you how to install GUI Composer, give you critical switches and settings for each of the hardware, show you how to launch the GUI, 
and then go through the functionality of each one of the four tabs. Please read this document carefully. It gives you a lot of insight into the capability and the use of InstaSpin FOC. There is also a full-length video demonstrating the capability of this GUI. Next, if we go back to our README first, we're instructed to download the latest version of Motorware. You can do that here. Once installed on your machine, Motorware can be found at your CTI directory. Please note that the top level Motorware folder is versioned and all the content underneath it is encapsulated in that version. The easiest way to stay up to date is to go to the Motorware tool folder and sign up for the reminders. This will let you know any time that we version Motorware. The best way to explore Motorware is using the Motorware Resource Explorer. Motorware is simply the software infrastructure that we have used to make InstaSpin FOC. InstaSpin FOC projects are simply a combination of drivers and modules, and they can be browsed directly here. Under InstaSpin FOC, there's support for the Piccolo 2806XF. This is the first release of InstaSpin FOC. You can see that there's three kits supported as well as the GUI. And if we look inside each one of these kits, we'll see a series of example projects. There's example projects 1 through 10 with some sub-examples, and they go through step-by-step -step the different features and modes of how you can use InstaSpin FOC in your solution. These projects can be launched directly from Motorware or imported in through CCS. You can also browse the drivers and the modules. We can view the source folders for each one of the modules, or by using the Doxygen comments, we can browse some of these modules directly. Under Resources, we can see that there is documentation for each piece of hardware, including the link to the tool folder, the quick start guide, and the actual hardware files, including PCBs and schematics, that are all housed inside of Control Suite. The main documentation that you'll want to be familiar with, of course, is the InstaSpin FOC Technical Reference Manual and the InstaSpin FOC User's Guide, which are linked to directly here. These documents are kept on the TI website so that we ensure that you're always using the latest version. We also include in Motorware the Motorware software coding standards and architecture documents. With this, you have everything you need to start your own software design for InstaSpin FOC. As a reminder, you'll want to do that directly through the InstaSpin FOC folder by reviewing the example projects. The documentation for these example projects, again, is inside of the InstaSpin FOC user's guide. Thank you for your interest in InstaSpin FOC and have fun spinning your motors.